Hey, it's old Big Bob. Big, Big Bob. Big Bob. Well, I got a call from one of my best friends and she's in the hospital. I don't like, I was sitting there on the, the hospital line and you realize that the number one cause of, of death in America and the number five cause of death in America and you like, really? This is what you want me to hear is here's all the reasons why people are dying. Think about it. Like what? I don't want to think about dying. I don't want to think about death. I don't want to think about all this crap going on. If you want to tell me how to be healthy, and you know what? The number one way to live, that's to be joyful. Have joy in your heart. Keep moving. My pastor, my dear pastor that I love with all my heart, he's, he's had knee surgery and it's not going well. He's not, he's not recovering as fast as, as he'd like to. And uh, I thought, man, you know, praise the Lord. My doctor told me I was going to have to, you're going to have to have knee surgery. Knee surgery. Knee. It's your knees. I just looked at him and I thought, oh boy. I thought, no, that's not, that's not for me. I'm not going to have knee surgery. And so I, I started going to the uh, Angelus Temple, and they had a lot of stairs there. And, and then they had the worship where you jump up and down and you dance. And I just thought, praise your name, Lord, praise your name, Lord. So I just kept worshiping and praising. And now one of my, one of my uh, stops that I go to has 120 steps. You forget a toothpick. Well, there you go. There you go. There you go. 120 steps. Up and down. Up and down. I mean, these steps, these are not little, little low, little, well, they can, they can kind of glide along. Just, just kind of glide along. Now, these are, it's like this. It's straight up. <laughs> straight up, mama. Straight up. feel like you're doing the, uh, the up and down at the, World Trade, well, they don't have the World Trade Center anymore. Yeah. Whatever, they used to have this race they would do in the World Trade Center, up and down, up and down. And you'd run to the top of the, run back down through the staircase. It was quite a race. It's almost like that. It's like, I get to the top and I'm... I'd rather know how you're going to live. How do we? How are we supposed to live? I know I have my shoulders back. I stand up straight and tall. It kills me. These jackarammies who are hunched over and hunched over and hunched over, and they're so hunched over. And oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. How are you? You okay? I'm fine. <laughs> what is that? Stand up straight and tall. Open your eyes up. Be bright and bushy tailed. Look at this. Watch this guy. Look at this guy. Look. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Look. Boom. He's going about 85 in that big truck. Wow. Maniacal drivers. I mean, I'm going as fast as you can go. And this guy's going faster than lightning. I mean, it's just like, look at that guy. And an Audi. Again, going about 90 miles an hour. Now, I'm not messed around. They're literally going about, when they go by like that, I'm going near 70, and he's flying by like I'm sitting still. That tells you they're going about 90. Where are the higher patrol? Where are the law enforcement? Where are people here supposed to be guarding the country? They should have, at every stop, they should have a higher patrol officer. Every single stop, higher patrol, zing, 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 zing. That would, that would sink these people's little wagons. That would fix these people's little, little problem. They got a little problem. They got a little, a little, 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 little foot problem. That would fix their wagon. Yeah. Well, Marge, hit the gas. We'll go for the 20 feet between the, the one exit and the other one, and they'll never catch us. <laughs> they should have put a high patrol officer on every single freaking exit. There's so many people on these freeways. 
put one to every single exit, and they just keep and they just keep leapfrogging and jumping around. Leapfrog, jump around. Leapfrog, jump. They just keep going and going and going and going and going to where they, uh, you know, they will catch these people and stop them. Your all electric bus. Wow, Foothill Transit has an all electric bus. Look at that. Look over here. You can see it. Let's see. Look at that. All electric. Your all electric bus. Let's clear. Look at that. Wow. It's quiet too. That's amazing. All electric bus. I have an all electric car called the Gem. I haven't driven in a little bit, but no more eating for me today. I went to my sister's and picked up some goodies and I had a piece of apple pie a la mode. Had a piece of cheesecake. Yum, 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 yum. That's not going to last much longer. Had a little bowl of Cereal with peanut butter, a little sugar. I had uh, some of that ziti. I got the ziti. I made the ziti. <laughs> My sister loves making ziti. <laughs> I never saw anybody so excited. Ziti! It's a ziti. <laughs> I never heard of it in my life. I mean, we're going to have pasta, spaghetti. Ah, ziti! I'm like, oh gosh. I, I've been 60 years. I never heard of ziti until last week and then my sister started crying about it we're having the ziti it's ziti 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 and there's always a ton of it left over it makes me think well if it's so wonderful why is it always so left over if it was so awesome and fantastic wouldn't it all be gone now i make plenty of it i know and then it sits in the refrigerator it's like there for you know several several terms of the president and <laughs> oh my lands oh that's what my grandma used to say. Grandma on my dad's side. Oh my lands. Oh my lands. Oh my lands. That's what she'd say. Oh my lands. Now look at this gas station. You can tell people are people are really, really uh, hep on getting gas at a good price because the, the Costco station here is, <laughs> it's, we can't even get into the, can't even get into the gas area there's so many cars here. It's so, so packed. So, so packed. Oh, it's packed. I mean, it's packed. It's like the sardines are thinking. We've got we've got the Taj Mahal here of, of spaciousness. We're in a we're in a tin can that's packed tighter than a mushroom, and yet we've got more room than these people at the Costco gas station. Well, we'll we'll be finishing several versions of the the uh, the ziti it's the ziti uh, let me see this guy's gonna hit me here I hope he, uh, I have to replace my can I've run out of my air I've got a alrighty oh, help me Lord help me Lord help me Lord good for you go ahead Jane yeah Ah, uh, back to your honking, like, uh, I'm, I'm going to go get my other horn. Hang on a minute. I'm going to go get the other horn. Hang, just hang on for a minute. Thank you. Let me go get my other horn here. Uh, I have a horn available. Well, I'll have to locate it later. I don't know. Couldn't see it there direct, directly, so. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo,
Monday I gotta go in and one of these two teeth there is acting up. It's crazy. I haven't, I haven't had any problem with my teeth in ages. Now this, it hurt, it just kind of aches. It's like a, an ache, something's wrong. I don't know what it is. <sighs> and I tried to get a hold of the doctor earlier. He said, oh no. So I have to wait a week to see the doctor. So I'm like, mm. You know, I could do this. So I wait. All right. Let's look at a verse for the day. Uh, I'm just, I, I, my uh, daughter's phone went out. And I had to get another phone. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Safari. Okay. Bible verses about joy. Ah, that's, uh, that'd be good. Oh. <laughs> Here we are, James, James, one, two to three. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. You know I'm so happy? You know what? That's really prophetic. That's really, are you listening to me? Are, are you looking at this? Let me turn that off there. Here, read, read that. Can you see that? Without even knowing it, I'm kind of living, I'm kind of living the Bible. Without even knowing it, I'm living the Bible. Without even realizing it, I'm living the Bible. You understand that? Without even the Holy Spirit is expressing right before our eyes. The Holy Spirit is right before our eyes. The Holy Spirit is blowing us away right before our very eyes. The Holy Spirit is blessing right before our very eyes. The Holy Spirit is blessing right before our very eyes. The Holy Spirit is blessing us right before our very eyes. The Holy Spirit is blessing us right before our very eyes. Because we know that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. Consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds. The testing of our faith produces perseverance. I often wonder why it is that I can do things now that I could never do in yesteryear. Other years, I could never do it. But now... Bada bing, bada boom, bam, boom, bing, bong. Where are all those Batman signs? I am, I'm a living miracle. I'm a walking testament to God's grace. I am able to do all things to Christ who strengthens me.
able to do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Able to do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Able to do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Able to do all things to Christ who strengthens me. What can I do? All things. How? Through the strength that Christ provides. That's how. That's how. That's how. That's one verse. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with the cries of joy. There's a song about that. Clap your hands, O oh ye people. I love that song. Isaiah 9, 3. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They replace, they rejoice before you. You as a people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. Ecclesiastes 9, 7. Go eat your food with gladness and drink your wine with a joyful heart for God has already approved what you do. That's good to know. Proverbs 10, 28. The prospect of the righteous is joy. You understand that? The prospect of the, our prospect is of joy. Our prospect is of joy. Our prospect is of joy. Remember the old prospectors in the old days? Hey, Sonny, I'm gonna get me some gold. I'm gonna get me some gold. I'm prospecting, I'm a prospector. I'm old prospector Joe. I'm gonna get me some gold. Gee, Joe, you sound kind of like you're rattled there, sir, like your brains have been fried. Well, I don't know why. I just sit here at a river, can to be a prospector. <laughs> but the Bible says that the prospect of righteousness is joy. So I don't have to guess, I don't have to shake, I don't have to wear a weird face or wear Levi's or none of that stuff. My, my prospect is joy. My expectation is joy. Today. So, if our prospect is joy, and we don't have to be struggling, we can just relax, then, and the other people are struggling and doing wicked schemes and racing ahead and cutting people off, and there's murder and torture and all the horrible things of the world. And you know what they end up with? Nothing. But we just simply dwell on the land and cultivate faithfulness. We do good. We follow the command of the Lord Jesus and we love our neighbors, ourselves. And what do we get? We get joy. We get, we get joy unending. We get eternal life. We have a relationship with our Father. And we get this, the satisfaction in our soul that we're home. We're home. We're home. Judah Smith changed his name from City Church to Church Home because he felt as though that's it's really the purpose of our of our fellowship together is to be home together. And last night at the Bible study, they were talking about how they uh, hang on a second. Look at that! Look, thirty thirty. I like to leave it on a nice nice little ring there. And if somebody ever 
takes my gas card and they, they, they try to take the gas, one of my defenses will be that I never, ever, ever leave the tank without a special number. You know, I have a matching number, 3030 or 2020 or 6580 or something, you know. So now I'm going to go into the big Costco store and gobble up all the snacks I can get my little gullet. Yeah, I'm going to gobble up all the snacks I can get my little gullet. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I just leaned in on my cup here like it was a bubba. So, uh, all right. There he goes. There goes the little junior. There goes the little junior. There he goes. I don't know what the people are doing back there. They're nutty. They're a fruitcake. Nuttier than a fruitcake. It's wide open. That's why Costco does it that way. So you can keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving, Gene. Keep moving. Let's go to another scripture. How about that? Let's see. 1 Peter 1, 8 to 9. 1 Peter 1, 8 to 9. Though you've not seen him, you love him. God, help us. Help us, Father. about being touched by the Lord. <laughs> oh, oh boy. That's a holy moment right there. That's a holy moment with God right there. That's the holy moment with God right there. That's Father God. <laughs> That's the Lord. That's the Lord. That's the Lord Jesus. That's our Lord Jesus. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, so close. That's, that's, that's Jesus. That's the Lord Jesus. That's the Lord Jesus. We can't, we can't possibly, 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 we cannot possibly comprehend how much, how much, I'm doing the old, doing the old stroke then. Um, it's the hope of my life. Though we have not, I'm going there. Though we have not, they're going to have to wait. There's other people here. I can pull up a little bit, but can't do too much here because I gotta go. Though, though you have not seen him, you love him. I don't know what these people want back here. I don't know what they're doing, but I do all I can to encourage them. Then, you know. Oh, help me, Lord. Parking lots are sure fun, aren't they? Parking lots are sure fun, aren't they? I got this guy back here. He's just like. Uh, if anybody pulls into a parking spot front wise, ought to be taken out and given a parking lesson. Anybody who pulls in the parking lot ought to be taken out. I'm just stuck here. I can't leave. You're going to have to just wait one minute here, mister. Because we got the, uh, this guy back here just won't. I, mean, I don't know what he wants. He's... Everybody and their brother's leaving right now, and I just want to get a parking spot. Huh, crazy.
people this time the hardest time driving. I don't know why they drive like that. It's just insane. Learn when you learn how to drive. When you learn how to drive, learn how to drive. Be a driver. You go like this, and you go like this, you go like this, and you go like that, and bada bing, bada boom, you're in. And you're done, you're finished. And you know what? When you pull out, boom, you're done, you're finished. Bing, bang, boom, done. This backing out of parking spots ought to be illegal. That to make it where it's illegal. It's, you cannot park in a parking spot unless you back in. That would be the way to do it. Give me a call, would you? 2137 Green ATT. Now the Twitter, Mr. Bob, 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 8954. Talk to you soon. God bless you. Love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen.